Today, it's the Red Wolves of Arkansas State hosting their rivals, the Trojans of Arkansas Little Rock. But, but 13 in a row between these teams, that, that's amazing. Arkansas State had beaten University of Arkansas Little Rock 13 straight times before losing last night, and it took extra innings. 1-0 pitch. Breaking ball, hammered to left, and that is down for a base hit. Fitzpatrick fell down and can't recover. That ball is rolling into left center field, and Pfeiffer scores easily as John Clark pulls into second base. The outfield at medium depth, with the exception of Emery, who's very deep in right field, and there's a scorcher in the center field. Crumpton rounds third. He will score without a throw, and John Clark delivers. He's had both runs batted in in this game. Claude Johnson is 0 for 2. He has rolled out to the third baseman and the shortstop. There's second to one. There's first for two. Claude Johnson bounces into a double play. That's lined right back up through the box for a base hit and some insurance for UALR. David Guarno found one to his liking and nearly disrobed at John Cook. Boy, both of those clubs have been really, really impressive, haven't they? Well, Claude Johnson just stuck his glove out there. And it bounced off the leather. That was not the most eager play by the third baseman, Claude Johnson. Have had three base hits. Runner moving from second. Throw down, not in time. It gets loose. Pfeiffer is on his way, limping to the plate, and he scores. That ball went off his leg. First pitch, belted into the gap. That's down for a base hit. And on his way to second base is Dustin Jones, and he is there. And then he places one into right center field, and with excellent hustle, moves to second base where he might score. He turns it third and will score without a play. So Massimelli delivers at the top of the order to Arkansas State. The only play is at first base, and there is out number one as Clark scores from third. Ground ball left side. Jones has it to Potts, and the relay bounces away from the first baseman, and UALR gets another run. Out to left field, and that is caught off the bat of Drew Burks, and this ball game is over. So a 1-2-3 inning for the reliever Cameron Allen. Ethan Schlechty gets the victory with eight very solid innings of work tonight as his record goes to five and four. And the loser was Brandon Milhouse, or I beg your pardon, Cody Woodhouse, as Schlechty turns in a fine performance